Tonight we look at the fallout from a movie that has drawn both condemnation and critical praise over its subject matter. And now it's drawing criminal charges against the streaming service where it's still being shown. Correspondent Anita Vogel explains tonight from Los Angeles. It's a movie that sparked controversy and conversation around the world. Now Netflix is facing criminal charges over the French film Cuties. This movie Cuties, it, it sexualizes 11-year-old girls, has them dancing like strippers, has them in very suggestive sexual roles, and it's frankly disgusting. After its September debut, Texas Senator Ted Cruz and other Republican lawmakers called out Netflix for releasing the movie which focuses on the story of an 11-year-old Senegalese immigrant who joins a dance group. The state of Texas filed a lawsuit, and a grand jury there indicted the media giant, saying Cuties, quote, depicts the lewd exhibition of the genitals or pubic area of a clothed or partially clothed child, and has no serious literary, artistic, political, or scientific value. Netflix initially apologized for inappropriate artwork for the promotional poster before it was released, but is defending the content of the film, saying in a statement, quote, Cuties is a social commentary against the sexualization of young children. This charge is without merit, and we stand by the film. Attorney Brian Claypool, who specializes in civil rights and child sexual abuse cases, says one of the biggest challenges Texas prosecutors face is that people have to pay or subscribe to Netflix in order to watch the film. He says prosecutors must prove the sole purpose of the movie is for sexual interest. If Netflix loses here, uh, this could be perceived as, as, as government intervention, censorship, and that could very well define uh, what type of material uh, platforms can post uh, both through television and any form of social media. Netflix did reportedly see some cancellations after releasing Cuties. The film's director writer says people are missing the point. She says it's a critique of the hypersexualization of young girls. As for the charges, an arraignment date has yet to be set. Brett. Anita Vogel in Los Angeles. Anita, thanks.